Today I'm going to show you how to use crop tool in Photoshop. There are so many reasons why you want to crop your image. It could be because of the wrong aspect ratio, change in image rotation, or any unwanted element in the image. In this image, for instance, I want to fix all of these issues. To select the crop tool, you can click on the crop button here in the toolbar or press the letter C on your keyboard. You'll get a crop marquee around the image, but you can also drag another crop marquee on the picture to create the right selection. If you change the original marquee by dragging the side handles, you would not be able to draw another marquee again. You can drag crop marquee box to reposition crop area. You can switch to specific aspect ratio or width, height and resolution from here. I choose to go with 4 is to 5 because it's 4 is to 5, it's a portrait selection. If you click on this double arrow here, this will swap width and height and make it a landscape selection. But in this case, it seems like portrait does fine, so I'll do that again. I can drag the handles or the side edges to make the right selection for me. Overlays are the help guide to help you position the crop area. You can cycle through between different overlay options by pressing O on the keyboard. You can click on the tick mark or hit enter on the keyboard to accept the crop or hit cancel or escape key on your keyboard to cancel the operation. This will also take you out of the crop tool or you can hit the reset crop box which actually resets the crop marquee back to the original position but you would still be in the crop tool to make another selection. In this case I'm going to hit tick mark. Once I do this I will have the final cropped image ready for me. Now you see I still have some issues. I still have those black areas on the edges of the image that I want to get rid of. In order to bring the crop marquee again, with the crop tool selected, I will click anywhere on the image again. This will bring the crop marquee selection the way it was before. And I can come near to any of the edges here and start dragging to rotate the image. When I know this is the best orientation I need, I will leave the mouse and hit accept again. This gives me the perfect cropped image. Alright guys, that's how you can use crop tool to convert a crooked image into a perfect shot. If you guys have any suggestions on the future episodes that you want to see on dvwlearn.com, please leave your comments below. And if you like what we do at dvwlearn.com and want to get more free tutorial videos every week, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.